The fine growth. Whoa, those blades are sharp. You must be new in town. Hi, I'm Spider-Man. In case you didn't know, these guys are bad news. Definitely want to keep them in prison. Get out of our way. It does not concern you. All right, I guess we can skip the welcome wagon. Sound of that. They just keep coming. You insects should have stayed out with this. Common misconception. Spiders are not actually insects. But that's maybe beside the point right now. They won't do think you'll see when he gets on you. Keep fighting. Money and tech here. Yeah, they're not messing around. Seem desperate to get their hands on Scorpion, Lee, or both. If those guys get free again, stay focused, Spider Man. The presence is unexpected, but insignificant. Man, who are you people? And where'd you even come from? I'll give them one thing. They know what they want. We are men. What we fight as one. with the Hydra and more head pop up? That! We've got him on the ropes! Put that in the playbook! I got the little one! Little one? You better be talking about the other Spider-Man, because I'm a half-inch taller than him, at least! <laughs> Why didn't we know the raft was moving Lee? Doesn't matter now. Let's just focus on taking these guys out, whoever they are. Firing! Yeah. <laughs> 
What now? Civilians on the way. It's bad, man. What happened out there? Did those guards get to safety? Hello? Signal. Better hurry up. Whoa! It's getting worse out there. for access. Sounds promising. Oh, Pete's got eyes on Scorpion. These guys have no idea who they're letting out. You're still out there! Still here! Promise! Electricity will fry him alive. What you doing? I need you to stay away from the water, okay? Drain the excess energy. Thanks a million kids. Eyes on Scorpion. A superhero. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Miles. Miles. Huh? 
that's all of them. from bad to each river on fire bad. That's... Well, okay. I'm on my way. We'll deal with Scorpion later. First responders are on site now, at least. Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck upriver? Nothing but debris. 
were those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. Yeah. Pete. When I saw Lee inside that ship, my powers, they... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels... volatile. Well, wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Promise. Don't leave me hanging. Trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man.
get used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Yeah, Uncle Aaron. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. The bad guy's getting up in those people's faces. I'm there. Day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind. Looks like we have an eyewitness we calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. We don't want to join you. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costumed criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is wrapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh. 
Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. Bless you, Spider-Man. What was the deal with those guys? Felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. You really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah. 
I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. This isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Maybe I can snap a few pics for Robbie. Swerving all over the place. Wait a minute. Try, try. It's 
there a street race I don't know about? No! You ain't taking us! One ton of runaway meadow brought to a halt. Love to see it. Miles, club fair, remember? Are you on your way? Oh, right, that's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. was. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who 
You know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, Attention. this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, a carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Bee patrol on duty. Oh, nice! Attention. Please use all the computer to start yes. accelerating today. We are performing maintenance, and there may be straight cables. Coming for you, bee wolf! with my bees. Nice! Gotcha! Wow! I think I'm getting the hang of this. I knew you'd be good at this. I'm in beesness. I got this! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I knew you'd be good at this. I'm in beesness. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. 
Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh... Any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. My dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. So much to see here. Where do I even start? Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh, yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Welcome to the start space. paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Uh, Gotta think this through before signing on. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. I, I know the number to to entomology. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehive 
groups show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. to space research. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. On your right. Accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. <laughs> 